Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about doxing. Now, doxing is using someone's personal information on the internet for malice or mischief. And it's very important that if you want to protect yourself from doxing, that you must recognize that each piece of information about you is important, because all of them can be used to create a web of information that will then ensnare you and get you in trouble. So, here's a list of things that you need to look out for as a YouTuber so that you can protect yourself from trolls. Number one, using your real name in your videos. Now, this could be that your channel name is exactly your real name. It could be that part of your name is somewhere in your channel name or in your videos. It could be that your email address is either your name or searchable that in a way that would show your name. It could be that you briefly said your name in your videos. It could be that somebody that you know personally in a... Hangout said your name to you and you responded to it. Um, it could be that in your first videos you introduced yourself on your channel and then later on forgot and thought that you had more anonymity on your YouTube channel that you, than you did and all people had to do was go look at your first videos. <clears throat> so, be aware that your real name is uh, something that is a really strong starting point for anyone who's looking to dox you. Number two, mail. Um, this would be showing pieces of mail in your YouTube videos that you got. Uh, do not think that using Sharpie is going to uh, be enough. Uh, be aware that ink can show through Sharpie if you're trying to redact your address off of a letter that you got. Um, all it takes is one second of a flash of glare to illuminate ink through Sharpie. Um, be aware that if you give away prizes on your YouTube channel, someone might work extra special hard in order to win your contest so that they can get a, uh, a package from you and look on the return address to find your docs. And also, unboxing videos. They are very dangerous. They, you, know, you could open up a package and think that you redacted your address on the outside and then something on the inside could have your address and you could miss that. Um... I'm speaking from experience here on all of these issues. Um, number three, uh, filming in recognizable locations. Uh, this could be going outside in, in your front yard and having your street address visible in a frame in your video. It could be that you went into your backyard and you have a whole bunch of redneck trophies laying around, you know, old cars that uh, can be seen in Google satellite images on Google Maps. Um, it could be that you're driving along and there are a whole bunch of very recognizable restaurant names in, you know, in the outside of your car area that are flashing by and people will just take a whole bunch of those names and, and create an entire path that you drove. Um, be aware of all of that. Uh, number four, affiliations. Now this could be, um, very niche groups that you can join that you could then talk about in one of your YouTube videos where somebody could go to a meetup.com site or a Facebook group and then they could look down the attendance records. This could be going down to your uh, city council town hall meetings and speaking at them and then showing up later on a list of speakers. Uh, this could be um, being a delegate for a political party in your state and then people looking down the list to see you know who was from what district um this could be sports teams that you like if they all are from a general uh area this could be your children's little league team on a t-shirt that you bought anything on your t-shirt that you are affiliated with you know this could be something that people would be able to find more information about you with number five Social media. Um, and Facebook is the worst, but there are others. Um, scrub all your social media if you don't want people knowing that information about you. Um, look in the information section, the about section. Look down your timeline of things that you've posted. Um, look for anything that could give more information about you. Um, using Facebook, turn the geo-tracking off. 
Um, this would be when you're instant messaging someone and it gives your location away in those instant messages. Um, be wary of who you add to your friends list. And also remember that uh, people who are flagging you for having a false name, if you're using your YouTube channel handle as your Facebook name, um, if they flag you on Facebook for having a false name or Google Plus for having a false name, they're trying to get you to use a real name. So be aware that whatever real name you use, they're going to be looking for. Number six, your employer. Um, this could be as simple as being on a staff directory or being employee of the month or just being in a picture uh, that they have posted on their social media. Um, so be aware that your employer can be used to out you. Don't talk about where you work if you're not uh, wanting people to be able to track you down by your employer. And the worst phishing attempt I've seen is people uh, using a burner phone, you know, paying 30 bucks for a track phone, and then calling an employer in order to leave a message for a worker. Now, that, that worker would then get that message and see, hey, call this number. And what the, what the doctor is hoping for then is that you would call with your cell phone, because that's very common. People not using the work phone to call back on things that they don't know what it's about. So uh, be careful with that. Especially when you get given uh, a note from your boss, you're not going to be thinking, oh, this could be you know, a phishing attempt. You, you trust things that are handed to you that way. Uh, number seven, websites. Um, check any website that you've ever made for information about you. Um, any website that you might have been a part of that's, that has some of your information, Google yourself, okay? Um, make sure that you scrub through every page that, that pops up about you. And uh, be aware that the Wayback Machine will be used by doxers to check your websites that you've had to see if you initially were not as smart and left some uh, information up about you and then later changed it. And also the Who Is directory, um, domain name service directories will be used uh, to find out who the domain is registered to and be aware that if you're going to want to pay for privacy for that website you need to pay initially because there are other websites that will scrub the databases for uh, historic information about who owned a website number eight charity uh, worst offender here is paypal uh, because there are so many different uh, charity websites that if you are to give as little as a penny to that charity, you can find out the information about who the money is going to. So um, this was especially bad with an old website called Chipin that no, no longer exists, but you would set it up with your PayPal, and uh, anyone who made a donation to that Chipin would be able to find out your docs. Um, if you are especially afraid, uh, have somebody else set up the charity for you and then forward you the money later. Um, PayPal. Do not give to somebody directly using PayPal uh, person to person unless you trust that person. Number nine, DMCA. Uh, when you're responding to a DMCA claim, you will be uh, very tempted to use your own docs. Uh, people will use copyright takedown notices in order to, you know, fish for information on a person. So, uh, especially if you're a vulnerable female, find a big, tough male guy who is willing to use his information to uh, respond to the DMCA for you. You do want to use a real address because if they are to push the issue further, um, any notices that would go to you in the mail that would help you keep your video up and keep your channel up and running might not get to anywhere where you would be able to get that information. So DMCAs can be very problematic. Um, and number 10, the worst thing you can do, worst by far, is piss someone off on the internet. Don't motivate anyone to share your docs or dox you or do anything that would lead you to get doxed. Um, and the worst case scenario here is do not backstab a friend. Because, just think about this, uh, how much does your best friend know about you? Now imagine if your best friend were to become your worst enemy. Um, they would have a lot of good starting points on, you know, different ways to dox you and hurt you. And uh, 
Lastly, I'm going to give one bonus thing, one bonus bit of advice, and that is um, do not react to phishing attempts. Um, and this would be, uh, let's say you watched a video like this, and then you decided to uh, up thumb it because oh, all of a sudden you're scared. And then you go to things like your LinkedIn or your Facebook or your you know, whatever social media site, and you start privating things right away. Whatever thing that prompted you to go do these things, people are probably already watching all of these different places that they've checked for your information, and if they were not certain that they had your information, they will be when you go and private that information. So remember, people are watching your reactions to phishing attempts. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel for all updates, recaps, and spoof. Have a good night.